What are we doing today? 20 minute core. Yes, we're doing a 20 minute core workout with core strength circuits and core cardio circuits. You'll need your mat and a light dumbbell. If you don't have dumbbells, don't worry. You could improvise. You could use what? Like a pot, a pan? Yeah. A planter? Yeah. A cat. Pot. Cat. We're going to use our cat. No, we're not. He's not going to like that. <laughs> Let's get started. We're going to start actually in cat cow. So we'll come to our mats. Join us here. We're in our tabletop position. Uh, so there's four points of connection. And then we're sending, we're going to start with the uh, cow. So we're sending our belly button down looking forward and then arching our back to create space and bringing some flexibility into the spine as we do this. Let's take some deep breaths here, center ourselves, whatever was going in our, on in our day, forget about it for the next 20 minutes. We're here, we're in our bodies. Good, let's push up into downward facing dog. So hands come a little bit wider on the mat, send the hips up to the ceiling and press back on your heels. Try to create space between the neck and the shoulders, and the neck is nice and loose. We don't need any extra tension there, but it's long as well. Just 10 seconds, breathe here. If you need to pedal out the feet, do so, and feel the energy coming up off the ground. Spread your fingers, three, two, one. Good, walk it up, hands, our feet to hands. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna get some jump twists, twisting side to side through the thoracic spine. So we're working our core today, the elusive core, the hips, abs, and the lower back. Also the serratus muscle underneath our arms there. Uh, we're going to do some strength circuits with core, and then we're going to do some cardio circuits. So we're going to test our core with many different moves, and we have some improvised weight as well. You can see there's a can of beans in the back. That's not for cooking. We got all beans, you know. <laughs> That's what I mean, cook. I will cook with them later. She'll cook with them later. Just a little boxer shuffle. Look, this is our active recovery. When Nikki and I are demoing, we want you to be moving with us today, okay? So keep moving while you're watching. The first circuit we're gonna come into requires your weight, so make sure it's off to the side and accessible. Okay, right now, 10 seconds. Let's sprint into our first circuit. Pump the feet, pump the hands. Bring the excitement, bring the energy. You got this today. Two, one, watch me shuffle it out, Nikki. I'm coming down to the mat. I got my weight to the side here. Knees slightly bent for the first move. We're doing line leg raises right here, just bringing the knees up, crunching in. Second move here, I'll bring the weight up in front of me, and I'm gonna extend the legs fully for the final move. I'm gonna hold the weight there, and I got wipers coming side to side, not kicking Nikki. All right, let's start without the weight. Knees slightly bent, hands to the side, and we're just extending our, our heels down, our legs down, and then crunching in. Move nice and slow here. I want you to think about your low back on the ground, spreading, itself on the mat. We're pinning our shoulder blades down and we're breathing. We got 10 seconds, crunching, pulling the belly button in. The abs are braced here. We got the hip flexors working. Three, two, one. Keep going, we're gonna extend the legs fully. Grab your weight, okay? And now we're gonna hold that weight. So we're challenging the top of our abs. We're stabilizing the weight above us as we're lowering our legs. Good, 15 seconds. Think about rolling those shoulders back so they're not disconnected from the body, okay? They should also be on the ground. 10 seconds to go. We're gonna go into challenging wipers. Now the wipers are hard on their own, but now we have weight and we're gonna really have to focus on the movement, slowing it down. Good, for 40 seconds here, slightly come to the side. Now your range is gonna be determined by your shoulder blades. If they start coming off the ground, stop and then go back. Good. If you have to bend your knees slightly, bend your knees, but this should be a slow, controlled movement. You're not flopping down to gravity, right? Less than 20. Woo! Abs are burning. We got this all the way up. Try to come down as far as you can. 10 seconds. We're going to come back up. Come on, you got five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Good. Put the weight aside. We're coming up. New moves for you. Nikki's going into that boxer shuffle. We're going to work on a squat to start. Simple air squat, sitting back and down. Then I got my weight. I'm going to bring it in front of me. Hold it there as I squat. Final move, I'll hold it up, up high as I sit down. Lots of shoulder mobility, but of course core. Let's get started with air squats. Find your space. Feet about hip width apart. And we sit down and then drive the hips forward into extension. At the top. You're strong, everything is tight, your glutes are on. 
your abs are on and we're working. Good. I'm going to ask you, and Nikki's going to ask you in this workout, to call your attention to certain muscles. It's kinesthetic awareness. It's awareness of what muscles are working as we do movement. So like right now, I want you to think, what are my glutes doing? All right, now, 30 seconds. Grab your weights. We're going to bring it in front of us. Stabilize it. Squeeze it together. And then sit down with it, staying there the whole time. As we sit down, we drive our feet into the ground strong and try to like push the tiles or the carpet, wherever you're working from today, out as you stand. You're bringing energy up off the ground into your hips and we're holding this weight. As we're front loaded, our core needs to work a little harder. Now 30 seconds, 40 seconds, bring the weight above you. Okay, we're gonna try to sit down here, working a little bit off our shoulder mobility as we uh, work our core, 30 seconds. Good, and slow it down if you need to. Everybody's range is gonna be different in their squat. The abs are on to help the lower back in this movement, 20 seconds. Can you bring the weight a little higher? Locking out the elbows, pulling the shoulders down. We got 15 seconds and we're going into a core challenge. Yes. Was this not challenging? This isn't challenging enough, so we're gonna add another challenge in there. Three seconds, two, and one. Good. Watch me come down to the or come down to the mat, actually. Join me. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna go into a V-sit hold, but we're gonna load it up on one side. And we're gonna pass the weight from side to side as we remain in the V-sit. You got it, Nikki? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, get in your V-sit or boat pose. You're holding the weight, and then we're gonna pass it into the chest, and then out to the side. Try to extend your heels. Press the heels out, I mean. And if you need to, Nikki's got the knees bent. Whew. It's challenging, stay focused, right? We're here in the moment. We're not worrying about anything else we have to do today, any distractions, our cell phones, or social media, whatever. We're in our bodies for about 20 seconds and we're strong. Balancing here on our sits bones and then putting this weight side to side. Uh, if you're using your cat, um, They're I think, probably not being very agreeable. Yeah, they're not being agreeable. I'm gonna grab the frying pan for three seconds. Two and one, all right. Let's give it a rest. We're going into our cardio section. Nikki's leading that now. All right, team, so come on back up. Get into that boxer shuffle, and I'm going to show you we're doing an inchworm, nice and simple, walking it out to your plank or to your extended plank, just past your shoulders, and then walking it back in. Let's do it together. We got 35 seconds here, and I really want you to focus on hitting that plank, tucking your tailbone in your plank, pressing out through your heels, making sure when you come back up to standing, squeeze those glutes. At the top, Bang. yeah, we're being mindful, even though we're moving quickly through all of this, we're really being mindful of each position. It's not sloppy. Get one more. Yes. All right, back into that boxer shuffle, and I'm going to show you our next move. We got uh, skaters, curtsy skaters. So you can actually tap that back foot down as you move through these skaters. We're going to go quickly right now. Let's go, Danny. Woo. Yeah. So get a ground touch, right? Yeah, get a little nice. ground touch, reach for the ground. If you feel comfortable with it, you can hover that back foot, challenge your core a little bit more. Make sure you're scooping those abs up and in, supporting that lower back as you lean forward. We don't want to round over through our spine. That's all part of this. That's the challenge here because we can Woo. move fast, but are we moving efficiently? Yes. Three seconds. Three to go. Yes, you made it. Back into that boxer shuffle. We got shoot throughs. Danny's right. gonna help me demo this one. So shoulders over wrists, we're in our beast position. If you haven't done these before, you're gonna open up to the side, keeping that knee close to the floor. And if you feel comfortable with shoot throughs, you're kicking it out to the side. Ooh. Drop that back heel. Let's go, join us. Nice, so Danny, is showing you how these shoot throughs work. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. This is an amazing full body workout, kind of similar to like a martial arts move. So it's not about speed. It's not about how many can you bang out. It's about how good the quality of movement is. You got five seconds. Show me that quality of movement, Danny. Woo, all right, take a break. 
We got one more in this cardio circuit. Shuffling it out with Danny. We got jump lunges with rainbow arms. So the arms come to the front leg up and over. Um, if you have some weight and you're Dan, let's do it. You can add it. Let's go. So if you add that weight, make sure that you're still using your core. Where abs are on, we're squeezing our glutes, supporting our lower back. That's what this is all about. 15 seconds. I'm going to create a bumper sticker that's going to say, what would your glutes do? And so that every situation will think about, hey, what are my glutes doing? What should they be doing in this move? What are your glutes doing? They're right squeezing. Now, three, two, woo. Shake that out. All right, let's come back into our strength circuits. Nikki, shuffle it out. And I love giving orders. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, He's three really moves. Good at that. All right, here we go. We're crunching with the knees up. That's the first move. Second move, we'll grab the weight, we'll balance it, and we'll continue to crunch for the final move. We're going to grab the weight, put it between our toes, and reach up. You don't need your weight for the first move, though. Let's do it. Just get your knees up, and we're crunching. So you can bring the hands to the side of your head, or actually, what I prefer is to kind of do palms facing up and reach forward. Like I'm reaching for someone's hand to pull me up off the ground. Tuck Help the chin. Me. Help me. Get me out of this crunch. But you want to tuck your chin, making sure we're not pulling on the neck. Right? Three seconds. Two. One. Good. Grab the weight. We're going to balance it now between our ankles there. Okay? And we're going to continue to crunch. Now we got to stabilize even more. The low back is strong and it's in the ground there. You mean, it means it's spread. There shouldn't be no gap. As no we gap. crunch, no gap. Don't fall into the gap. And we're reaching forward. Boom. We got eight seconds, so we're going to bring this weight a little higher. Five pounds feels real heavy right about now. Three, two, one. Good. Bring it up. Now, this is challenging, right? We're going to try to balance it between our feet. If you need to slightly bend your legs, do it. But you're reaching up to touch your toes or the weight. Boom. All the way up. See so if you can extend you got to keep it together, otherwise it's going to fall on you. So don't let that happen. Bend your knees if you need to, and you're reaching. 20 seconds here. I'm going to check out Nikki. What's she got going? Oh. You got it, Nikki. Come on, look. Perfect line here, right? Knees a little bit bent. We got 10 seconds. She's reaching. She's touching her shins. You can do it. Nikki's doing it with you. You're not alone. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. High five. Oh. Good work. Okay, we're going to come into new moves. Wonder Woman is up first. Just watch me here. You got this. Pulsing. Legs come up, feet come up. Then we're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, and then to finish, we're going to grab one weight. We're going to do what's called a wave with pick up in place. We bring it up, we bring it behind us, we place it, and then we reverse. Let's just do the Wonder Woman pulse right now to start. You can see Nikki's got it. Back extension there, her feet and arms coming up off the ground, and then lowering to the ground. Good. Breathe. Your low back is working here. This is an awesome low back move. I'm going to join you for 10 seconds. Coming on up. Neck is nice and long. We're looking down at the ground. Whew. And all our sweat. In here. Scoop them. Just like an ice cream scoop. Two and one. Good. Let's do opposite arm, opposite leg. Here we go. Boom. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. Coordinate the movement. And breathe. Moderate and, your pace, too. You don't have to go as fast as we're going. Danny's like a speed demon. Speed demon, no. i got to slow this one down. This is a challenging move even for me. Low back. Uh, there's going to be a lot of tension there. It could be a, it's a sensitive area for most people. we got three seconds. Two and one. Good. Grab your weight, whatever it is. Can of beans. We're going to break. Nikki's got a great can of beans. I'm going to show her doing it right now. So, Nikki, let's go starting it up on one side. You're going to lift up. Bring it behind you. She's going to place it down on the ground, releasing tension, then picking tension back up. Now she's going to switch hands, so she'll bring it into her opposite hand. We're loading this movement on one side into the other, so the opposite side needs to help stabilize, right? we got 15 seconds. Nikki, you're, you're really shaking that can of beans. What, yeah. are we, what are we making later? Maybe red beans and rice. Red beans and rice, it sounds great. we got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. One, good, to finish it up with our core challenge. Ooh. All right, we're going to come into our high plank position. Oh, yeah. With the weight to one side, I'll reach underneath, grab the weight, and I'm going to place it to the opposite side, staying balanced. 
on that single arm while I do it. We're doing it for 45 seconds. That's Come a long time. join us right now. We're almost done with our work today. All right, you're in your high plank, pressing slightly back on your heels. You, oh, you reach under with the opposite hand and you place it to the side. The whole time you're, you're sending energy into your big toes to help stabilize you, right, in this high plank move. Boom, to the other side. Maybe you're using the can of beans. All right, maybe you're using the frying pan. You'll see me do it here for 20 seconds. Maybe you're using nothing. Yeah, maybe you're just in your high plank, that's okay. I'm getting ready for, uh, for cooking the red beans and rice later. Here we go. Moving it from burner to burner. Whew. You can't make red beans in that. We can fry something up, right? All right, rest, 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 good job. Let's come into our final core cardio circuit. Whew, is that me? That's you. We're here already? Let's do it, okay, lady. Team, we're doing a side lunge with a twist. We're gonna alternate from side to side. Make some space for yourself. Let's do it together. Step it out to the side, twist. twist. Yes, we're hitting those obliques. Twist. Feels so good. Another part of that core. They wrap around your body, so getting these rotational movements is super important to really work those muscles the way that they're designed to be working, functionally. Twisting, squeeze those glutes together when we come to standing. 10 seconds here, yes. See if you can squeeze those inner thighs as we come to standing. Get one more. Woo! Awesome. Go back into that uh, active recovery, and we're gonna do repeaters, three on each side. That's the basic version. You can jump it with me and Dan right here. This is the uh, advanced. Mm. Yeah, add that little bounce. Woo! Yes, go for it. Pick up the pace for yourself. Challenge yourself here. You got 20 seconds. Yes, you can do it. Push fast those boundaries. They're just in your head. They're not real. Woo, 10 seconds. I could do this one all day. This is a favorite. No, Danny doesn't like this one. No, it's fine. This is it. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, we got a sumo squat with a bend and a thruster. It's a lot. So we're gonna sit down, bend to the side, bring our hands to the floor, shoot those feet back, and then bring them back in to come to standing. Together, here we go. Sit down, bend to the right, back to center, thruster, and up. Woo. Sit down, Ooh, bend to the side. There we go. Yes, we're alternating side to side. We've only got 20 seconds to hit this one. Woo. Yes, team. We are so close to the finish line. Stay strong through these last three sets. Woo. Got it. Yes, we're in it. Three to go. You made it. All right, nice. now we got our cross body climbers coming down into that plank position once again, crossing those knees to either armpit. Danny, let's go. Last move. We're gonna finish this together. We got 35 seconds here. Make sure your shoulders are stacked right over your wrists. Stay in this team. You can do it. You've only got 20 seconds here. Really getting a twist through those obliques. Hitting them hard right now. Last 15, I'm doing it with you. Got it, got it, come on. With these home workouts, it's all about the discipline. Nobody's watching you. Can you stay motivated to keep moving? Yes, you can. In three, two, and one. Woo! Virtual high five. Real, Real high, high five. five. Let's cool down. We got Man. upward facing dog, all right? So we're gonna come right here, shoulders over wrists. We're gonna roll through and then push the ground away. Open up the chest. Get a stretch in the low back. Get some deep breaths, sink the hips lower into the ground. Flexing feel so good. And breathe, great work. 20 minutes, core burner, good. Let's come into a little bit of uh, line lumbar stretch. I'm gonna say child's pose, because that's what I really wanted to do. But we're gonna do the line lumbar stretch first. All right, so pin your shoulder blades down, let your legs uh, come full to one side, and then extend the heel, keeping your shoulder blades on the ground and breathing. 
Come back, make sure you hit the other side. Whoo, release. Good, you can roll the ankles around a bit. Three seconds, two, one. We're gonna come back to our feet. Oh, this feels so good, let's just stay down here. Yeah, I'm now, good. All right, let's finish up this uh, cool down. We're gonna hinge at the hips, get a flat back. Do three little pulses, one, two, three. Trying to touch the toes, roll up, squeezing your glutes, press your hands to your low back. Get a little back extension there. Not too hard, all right? Just gently, little cue for our low back. Three pulses, squeeze the glutes, come up. What are your glutes doing right now? <laughs> all right, good work. Now we're, we're gonna get a little flow to finish, right? So we'll reach up to the sky, come to our toes, and then fold and flow back up. Reach, 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 fold and flow. Go at your own pace here. Yep, thinking about all the awesome energy you generated, you're gonna take it into your day and use it for good. Maybe you're gonna get something done that you've been meaning to get done. Maybe you're gonna help somebody who needs some help. The possibilities are up to you. Here we go, last one. Boom, and up. Yes, great work today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. We're gonna have more workouts coming your way. Please hit subscribe, leave some feedback, or DM us on Instagram. We would love to know what workouts you want to see. And we'll yes. see you again soon. Tell us everything. We love you. Bye. Bye.